out with you for another lesson. Thank you again for having me, Marty. Today, I would like to talk about how to change your tone with what you have. There are so many variables to what kind of picks we use, how we use our picks, to what we do with our hand on the fretboard that can all change the way that our notes sound. So I'd like to talk about every little element today. Let's get into it. So first, I would like to talk about picking techniques. There are so many different picking techniques, and for the purposes of today, we're just gonna talk about a few of them. The first one is down picking. So you can hear, you know, down picking in a lot of like rock and punk music sometimes when you have certain chord progressions that sound like. It's very assertive, it's very aggressive almost with the way that you're picking. And you can also use it with different lead lines sometimes that, um, that fancy themselves better to down picking. They would sound a little bit like this. It's almost that immediate tone that you want, like everything's right at your fingertips and you kind of want that constant attack on every note the same. Now the second picking technique I'd like to talk about is the one that I use by far the most. It's called alternate picking, and it's when you move your pick down and up in a motion. Whether you're playing scales, whether you're skipping strings, you always kind of just go down and up. If I were to play the minor pentatonic with all downward picking, and I tried to play it fast, it would go like this. And that, that's hard. It's a lot of wrist movement to always go down, 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 down. So if I play this with alternate picking and, and I go down up, you can actually play things a lot faster. It's, it's kind of weird to wrap your brain around it at first, but once you get it, I promise you, you are going to love alternate picking far better than any other kind of picking. And so the minor pentatonic with alternate picking would look a little bit like this. That's so much easier compared to. <laughs> it's so much easier, trust me. And um, and and alternate picking it just you. It's muscle memory, I guess, and you get so used to going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, that it just becomes a part of your playing. If you've never done alternate picking or have never heard of it, I would, I would challenge you to just take a simple scale, like your minor pentatonic or your major pentatonic, and just practice it. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And practice it when you're watching a TV show or, you know, just so it becomes second nature to you. The third picking technique I'd like to talk about is hybrid picking. I use hybrid picking a lot in my playing. It's sometimes when you're holding a pick with these two fingers, your first finger and your thumb, and then you use your other fingers to play on the guitar. And sometimes it's very helpful because you either want to play the bass notes with your pick or you want um, you know, to play a bend and have a, a stronger attack with your pick. And then you can have your fingers come in with notes that you know, whenever your finger picks a string, it's gonna be a little bit warmer, a little bit softer of a tone than when a pick plays it. So this is my pick, this is my finger, pick, finger. So hybrid picking is a combination of the two. So let's see. And sometimes I think of hybrid picking that if my pick were to always hit the down strokes, my fingers would get the up stroke. Sometimes I play a lot of licks just using these three fingers. So my pick always gets the down and my fingers always get the up. And you can actually play things pretty fast. So it's weird how your brain just sort of works it out sometimes, but I do think that hybrid picking is, is the secret. It's like the, the magic. 
the magic thing you can keep in your toolbox to really help you reach licks and reach notes that you never thought you could with just a pick. Just get used to using your fingers a little bit while you're holding a pick. It feels so weird at first, but I promise you it'll feel like second nature and then you'll be able to play things that you never thought you could. Okay, the next thing I'd like to talk about in terms of tone is articulation. Articulation of a note changes the tone of it completely. You can have hammer-ons, you can have pull-offs, you can have slides. This is all gonna change the way you play a certain lick or, or, or even chords, how you get into chords. Um, so let's choose a very simple lick. We're just gonna play those four notes. There are so many ways that you can play those four notes. You can pull off. You can, if I played it backwards, we could hammer on. Um, you could slide into them. You could slide up and slide down. So let's try sliding up. Not sliding all of them up. Or you could slide down. And so you can hear that it changes the way those notes are presented compared to just where you can pick them or you can do so many things. You can bend into them. So playing around with the articulation opens up another whole room of options for you to change your tone. Next, I would like to talk about picks. The kind of pick you use can really change the way that the tone of your guitar sounds like. There's so many different gauges of picks. There are light picks, there are heavy picks, there are celluloid picks, there are nylon picks, there are Tortex picks. So let's first talk about thickness. There are light picks. I genu genuinely like to play with a heavy pick, but Light picks, especially like some of the nylon picks, kind of when you, when you put your fingers around them, it feels more flimsy. And this isn't even a real light one. Sometimes they're almost paper thin. I find lighter picks are really great for strumming. On acoustic, when you're, when you're laying down rhythm tracks, sometimes having a lighter pick will help you have a nice, consistent like. A lighter pick is a really nice way just to grace the tone, or grace the touch, I guess, of your guitar. Compared to a heavier pick that is going to have a fuller, rounder, heavier tone. Um, you have a lot of less control with a lighter pick, I find, and you have way more control with a heavier pick. So I tend to play with a heavier pick. A lot of like chicken pickers, anytime you're, you're hearing something that's fast, a lot of people use heavier picks. There are picks with grips on them, and there are picks without grips on them. I mean, when we can talk about picks, we could talk about picks for hours, guys. But sometimes the grip grips are nice. When I first started playing, I loved picks with grips on them. Um, that's a tongue twister in itself, picks with grips on them. Because if, if your hands get really sweaty when you play, sometimes it's nice to have that extra grip. As well, if you have a smooth pick like this, it's just going to, um, slide off that string and it's going to give you like a really clean if you have a grip on them sometimes it it adds a little bit of color and you can either like when you're raking notes with with a pick with grips on them you can hear the the you can hear the extra color that a, a grip gives you on a pick i will also say there are so many different sizes of picks this is a, a plexiglass, like tiny little pick, you can see this guy, as well as, you know, this is your standard pick size. I find sometimes playing with a smaller pick gives me way more precision. It makes me be much more precise, and sometimes when I'm playing something very difficult, I like to use a smaller pick because I'm, I'm less sloppy, really, and I really need to focus on... Um, for some reason, a smaller pick makes me play so much cleaner. So um, I love to play with smaller picks, especially when I'm, I'm playing more challenging things, but every pick has a different use and I use all of them for different reasons. I will also say that, you know, there are nylon picks, there are celluloid picks, both of those picks, 
that you can buy at your at your guitar store are very like slick. They have very clean tones. There are also Tortex picks, which feel almost oily. They, they have like a powdered texture to them, which is really good for absorbing sweat if your hands sweat a lot when you play. They were made, I think, originally to um, replicate the, the turtle shell picks like way back when they got endangered in like 1973 or something. So the Tortex picks came out and I love Tortex picks. They just have such a creamy texture. And I will say sometimes when you're playing with a Tortex pick, it kind of maps out your playing. I'll say like the memory of a pick. A Tortex pick really learns how you play to the string and you can start to see the wear and tear on a Tortex pick better than any other pick. And um, it's, it's really neat to sort of watch it mold itself to your playing. Okay, one last thing before we, we tone test all of these picks. I hold my pick backwards. I always have, I don't know why. Normally you would hold your pick with the kind of pointy end, you know, sticking out. And I hold my pick backwards. I use like the back end of it. I don't know if it reminds me of using a smaller pick maybe and, and I need to be a little bit more precise or if I just can grip it better. But basically, I mean, experiment with it. There are no rules. There are no right or wrong way to, to hold picks. As well as one more thing I will talk about before we test, finger picks. The world of finger picking is so vast and so big. You can buy so many cool finger picks. You know, there are these cool thumb picks that fit on your thumb. Uh, I haven't played with these picks in a long, long time. But there are these, these are probably my favorite finger picks because they, they have a space for your finger. So unlike this finger pick that is just metal, this one gives a little bit of the tone of your finger in the attack. And then as well as there are finger picks that are plastic. Or, or nylon, and so they're gonna kind of give you a tone similar to using a pick compared to a finger pick. The, the metal finger picks are obviously gonna be a lot more brighter. Okay, so this is the finger pick with a little bit of the finger. So it has a little bit more of a warm tone compared to the finger pick with only the metal. It's a little bit more tinnier, which makes sense because there's more metal contacting the string. Okay, so let's try all of these different kinds of picks using the same lick so we can try the differences between them. So first I'm gonna start with a lighter nylon pick. Okay, so that's the lighter one. This is a heavier nylon pick. So it's a little bit more warm. We'll go back to the lighter one. The heavier one. So you can definitely hear it's a lot more warmer. It has a, a, a more of a, a heavier, rounder tone. We'll contrast it with a metal pick. It sounds so much brighter right away. and it gives it more of an attack. And then we'll contrast it with a wood pick. Using a wood pick definitely has a softer or warmer tone than any of these three. And last but not least, we'll use the tiny plexiglass little pick, which feels a lot different when you're playing with it. It has so much more presence than that wood pick. So basically, there's so many different kinds of picks that you can use, but really you just gotta figure out what works for you. Sometimes, you know, you should have all of these in your, in your tool belt to use on a given day. The last thing I would like to talk about referring to the tone is using vibrato. Vibrato is basically a weird word to just say you're gonna change 
the variation of pitch of a note. The string vibrates in a way that the tone changes a little bit. It's different than tremolo. Tremolo deals with volume. This is just changing the tone of a note. There are so many different ways to play vibrato on strings. The normal conventional way is a way that I'm terrible at. So this is how you would play vibrato on a note. You kind of play it like this. I can't do that. I don't know why. I learned how to play vibrato kind of like Clapton plays vibrato. I, I take my whole hand off the neck and I just let it float. So it sounds like this. So unlike some players, I, I all of you guys are amazing if you play vibrato like this, but you can play vibrato like this. I can barely even do it. Or I play like this. There's also variation to the speed of your vibrato. So you can do very slow vibrato. Or you can do very fast vibrato. It again, all just determines how you want your note to sound. So guys, these are just a few little extra tips and tricks that you can try before you go try to buy new gear or change your amp or change your guitar. Experiment with different kinds of picks or the way you're picking a note to really see if that changes your, your tone the way you want to hear it. I'm Lindsay L. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. Make sure to subscribe and follow Marty Music as well as check out my own channel. All the links are below. We'll see you next time.